swatches are done and dry and I will sort them out into order. Before we start on that, I just wanted to mention that I got two colors confused when I was doing the swatches and labeling the colors. And these are the Aquarius Cobalt Blue and Cobalt Cerulean Blue. They were almost identical. Um, you can see a slight difference now. So this one here, the first one, is slightly more blue, like a warm blue, whereas uh, the other one is more of a cool blue and it feels like it has a bit more density to it. Um, so that was quite useful to sort that out. And now let's just... What I'm going to do is I'll start with the yellows first and just color group them and then do the oranges and in the um, order that I would arrange a watercolor palette and um, I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's see what yellows do we have. Some colors might be more tricky than others. As I'm doing it I might as well just put oranges into one pile and there's a yellow, there's a red, pink another yellow, another pink, red, yellow, red. So these are neutrals. I'll put them to another side. These are the greens and the blues. They should be in the cool toned colors. And another yellow and um, buff titanium. Buff titanium is close to a white, so I'll probably start with the buff titanium. And, and then what else do we have here? So this is kind of in between a red and an orange. So it's an orange. And then we have a bunch of neutrals, another pink and neutrals like that. I'll do the same with this color group. I wonder if you can see what I'm doing here. This is just rough color grouping. So blue and green and these are neutrals um, so here we have blues green this is more of like a purple which I don't have any purples this is as close as you get uh, in in Roman schmaltz I don't have them so this is a green Blue, blue, blue. Oh, there's another actually. Purple. This is probably a blue. Another few type of purples, but they're not your um, traditional purples. Some greens. Blue, a grey. So that is actually quite close to that colour. I haven't decided where I'm going to put it just yet. And a grey. Oh, another grey. So these neutrals. Roman Schmaltz neutrals are really, really beautiful. This could be going somewhere in the between a pink and a purple, I suppose. Um, and a couple of the blues. And this is transparent turquoise, so somewhere in between a blue and a green. So I'll keep it here. Okay, so roughly we've got our color groups. I'm just going to go through the neutrals again. So hematite is another color similar to Kaput Mortem. Uh, so I'll just put them here. These are the warm browns. This is more of a green, I'd say. Mm. Not entirely sure. So the colors that I'm not sure with, I'll just keep to another side. And these are all the neutrals like that. That's a bit too red, too brown to go into the reds. Okay, so here are our color groups. Now, obviously I'm going to start with yellow. So what I'm gonna do is group them according to their color intensity. So that would work this way. So we have lemon yellow, Hansa yellow medium, Nickel, Azer, Yellow, and Quinacridone Gold. So those would be the first colors. I'm going to cleanse, or I'm going to clear my desk. 
and see what I can do. So the next one would be the oranges. Let's see, so the lightest orange, or the closest to the yellow is this one, golden yellow. And then we start with golden orange. Um, so this is an interesting one, gingerette. Let's say transparent pyrrole orange, deep orange and aquarius orange. And then we'll put the gingerette somewhere here. Then we go into the pinks. So we I'll probably put Potter's pink next to the ginger red because they have the same sort of um, granulation effect. And let's see. So I'm going to go into the. I was going to say reds first. Um, so this is the reddest and the colors clash here so if I'm not sure about it I'll just start so the red is then something that goes towards the cool so we've got pyrrole scarlet Aza red and then Aquarius red is a bit cooler than the Aza red I find and so then we start going into the pinks pyrrole rubine and quinacridone red and then we have Gunacridon Fuchsia and Gunacridon Pink. So that would be this order. And I have a little bit of space. I'm going to clear all of these to another spot. And we'll figure them out later. So the greens, the blues, and all of those lovely colors. So I've got a group here of these colors. They're very similar and I think I want to keep them somewhere together possibly. Okay, so this color, mineral violet, sits well here. And then this is going to be a bit tricky. So sometimes it just helps to play around a bit. So this is the most purple out of them, like that, and these two at the end. Okay, so these are the colors and something here is clashing, so I'm going to think about that. So I had a little think about it and I think I am happier with taking the Potter's Pink out of here and moving it somewhere after the purple, so I think next to Misty Morning and then I can squeeze in these, the Caport Mortem Hematite Violet Shade, Hematite Brown Shade so they look beautifully together next to Potter's Pink and then I am thinking I'm going to carry on into neutral browns and all of that and then somehow I'm going to go back into the earthier green colors, leading back into green and then blue, I shall think. And what else? And then finish off with some of these neutrals, maybe somehow like that. These colors look lovely together. So I may want to do something like this. I don't know. Not certain yet, it's not as easy as I thought. So I think I will start by doing this colors like so, and that will be a good, good start. So to do that, I'm going to take my Roman Schmal. palette and put the colors onto the lid in the order that I have them here. So I will start with the lemon yellow which is at the top. So 
so that's this colour here. And then next one is Hansa Yellow Medium, which is right next to it. Like that. And then we have Nickel Asa Yellow, which is in the third row. So this one is the Nickel Acer Yellow, like that, and I will carry on putting these into the order. So I went all the way up to Roman Schmaltz these colours, so remember Potter's Pink, Put Mortem, Hematite Violet Shade and Hematite Brown Shade. So. Now I have arranged the browns in this order and I think I'm happy with it. So finishing with this colour, I think I will do the grey here and then somehow I'll start with a grey or maybe a white and a grey. No, this kind of works better in this direction. So let me just move them up a bit more this way. There we go. And then we have these colors here. And so now I can comfortably put them here. And that color range is quite inviting for these colors, I'm thinking. So we've got gold green and deep green gold and then we have the olive green light and now we can start going into the greens so i've got greens and blues to finish let's see if how um, if how if and how this color arrangement will work i never did this before um so let's see so this is our most yellow green so that kind of works well doesn't it this also has plenty of color in there but then we have all these greens okay so i think this works and i should go with it except for there's this color here which probably would be quite good up here somewhere. They're, these colours are quite tricky to put in the palette. So once I use this colour, which sits quite well, then of course I'm tempted to go into these colours. So these would go well, but where do I put these in? Unless I put the greens right at the back. Yeah, so that works. Okay, I'll leave these to connect to the blues and I'll do this color group now. I have sorted my greens or like partially the greens. So basically this is how I then went on. So Payne's gray was followed by Aquarius gray, Buff Titanium, Glauconite, Glauconite and then green gold, deep green gold and then we have olive green light, sub green light and hookers green. So this is where it finished. And then continuing from there, I kind of was really tempted to carry on here, but I didn't. I went into this green, which means that it sort of fades out into these lighter colors and then we're jumping back into the brights and then that goes into the turquoises I gained some of the lighter colors and sort of finishing with the ultramarines. Not sure if I love this combo entirely, but what else could I do? I mean, I could do the greens up here and then that means I would need to move as I am moving and somehow these colors then are hard to bring back in. So I think I'm going to keep it as it is actually and arrange these last few colors 
and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so uh, this took a little while, but it has been really, really enjoyable. And I have now transferred all of the full pans from the lid, which you remember I placed them provisionally there, uh, into the main um, palette. So I think I am quite happy with it. But the next thing I'll show you saves so much time. So if I didn't have these cards, what I would do now is again take some time and swatch the colours in the sketchbook. When it comes to that many colours, which I have 65 at the minute, it takes quite a bit of time. So what I will do instead, just to... Um, kind of have one more thought about the color arrangement is I'll take these cards and I'll try to place them quite closely to one another just to again have a quick look if I'm happy and then I will talk you through sorry this is a jar of water causing a bit of a shadow there I'll just move it and uh, I will share all the colors with you as well. So for now, let's just do this. So, so far I'm quite happy with it. It seems to work quite nicely the way the colors are going. And then it continues here, like so. So let's go through these colors and then I will move on to the other group. So just, I should have actually left the titles out. Okay, so we've got, again, these are all Roman Schmal. We've got a Lemon Yellow, Hansa Yellow Medium, Nickel Azo Yellow, Cronacridon Gold, Golden Yellow, Golden Orange, Transparent Pyrrol Orange, Deep Orange, Aquarius Orange, Ginger Red, Pyrrol Scarlet, Azo Red, Aquarius Red, Pyrrol Rubin, Quinacridon Red, Quinacridon Fuchsia, Quinacridon Pink, Mineral Violet, Shadow Violet, Shadow Violet Light, Prezibus Grey, Misty Morning, Potter's Pink and Caput Mortem. I will now show you the second group of the colours. So here we have the second group and I haven't been able to fit all of them so we'll return to those colours in a bit. Let's go through these colours again. So far I'm really happy. I don't feel like I want to do any uh, changes here at all. This color is clashing a little bit just because we don't have anything bright here, but you will see uh, in the continuation, we are going into these colors so they sit really well together. So we have Hematite Violet Shade, Hematite Brown Shade, Aquarius Brown, Mami Transparent Red, Burnt Sienna Montamiata, Pompeii Red, Blue Ridge Burnt Sienna, Transparent Brown, Indian Red, Cypress Burnt Umber, Transparent Oxide Brown, Goyphite, Cypress Row Umber Deep, Van Dyke Brown, Paints Grey, Aquarius Grey, Bath Titanium, Gloconite, Green Gold, Deep Green Gold, Olive Light, Olive Green Light, Sap Green Light, Hooker's Green, Aquarius Green, Paraline Green Deep, Viviante, Malachite and Sap Green. All right, let's do the last group. So we have got the last few colors. And again, looking at it, um, I think I don't want to change anything, although these colors are quite bright. 
and similar to the brightness of this color group but like I said before once I start adding these going back into the turquoises means that we're sort of shifting away from the green again and I'm not sure how I would feel about it so I think I'm happy with finishing on these blues so what we have here is Taylor green blue shade transparent turquoise Taylor blue green shade ocean blue cobalt sea blue cobalt teal cobalt turquoise lazurite which is the lapis lazuli um, pigment aquarius cobalt blue cobalt cerulean blue cobalt blue deep french ultramarine and ultramarine intense so these are the colors and i will try them on in the palette and see how it is if i like it if i don't like it what i want to do next is a little fun exercise which is really easy to do because we've done already all the hard work by preparing these swatch cards if you remember in the previous um layout of the swatches or the original swatches i was going to keep this page for the arrangement that i will pick for the palette but what i will do this time instead of labeling everything there's no need for it i have everything here what i will do however is um also i'm keeping the the swatch card in the order that i place them so i will easily identify them i will need to create a swatch card to sit in this palette but that's probably from for another time today i want to do a super easy um swatch fun swatch playful kind of uh, way of displaying the current swatch colors and see how they feel so we'll do that next 